Well, if there's one guy on the Spartans roster who is elated to be dancing, it's Joshua Lankford because the fifth year guard hasn't been able to physically compete on the floor in an NCAA game since 2018. It's the year the Spartans lost to Syracuse in the second round in Detroit, but now that he's healthy again, he's ready to make the best of it. Our Nick Mantis had the opportunity to chat with Joshua before tonight's play in game and Nick, you not only spoke with him about his faith, but how social media has helped him share it with anyone else who's going through a hard time. Absolutely right, Odd. Joshua Langford is not only someone who has used social media during the pandemic to share his message to those in need of some faith, but he's also looking to change the way we all see our more religious family and friends. Don't let the glasses fool you. There's a warrior behind his soft-spoken demeanor. If you had to tell the story of Joshua Lankford's life, you could do so with one word, perseverance. From almost passing away at the age of 12 from bacterial meningitis, to his array of injuries to his lower body, and even this past year when he caught COVID-19, Lankford has learned how to overcome any obstacle. And with the year that Lankford and the Spartans have had, the ability to overcome has become more important than ever. It hasn't been easy. I think it's been challenging. I think I'll be we all be kidding ourselves if we were saying it wasn't hasn't been challenging on every co collegiate basketball player, you know, just throughout the course of this year. And just for me personally, I think it's you know it's been the exact same, especially you know with you know getting COVID in the middle of the season and you know the emotional highs and lows of the wins and the losses and <clears throat> the way we were losing and things like that. It's definitely been challenging, but it's also been a great opportunity for me to learn a lot of lessons. You know, just about perseverance and, you know, teamwork and unity and how to, you know, come together and, and get things done, even when your back is against the wall. So, I mean, overall, you know, I'm thankful, you know, just for the season and, you know, how everything has went. Obviously, it hasn't been ideal, but, you know, it has been beneficial to me and I think, you know, to the rest of my teammates as well. Langford has been more than beneficial to his teammates this year, coming up big in huge moments throughout the season. Tend to shoot. Langford. Yes! A three! <laughs> big time early onions. Throughout the battles and setbacks that Joshua Langford has had to go through, he's been able to rely on his religion. I got through it because of my faith in Jesus. Um, you know, he's helped me a lot, and, you know, that's something that I will always stand on because when I was 12, you know, I wasn't I wasn't necessarily facing it, you know, whether I would be able to get back to play basketball. I was facing a life or death situation. And so from that point on in my life, I've always kind of known that this is how I'm going to get through in life. And I think, you know, for anybody, I think that's the best way we can get through life is having a relationship with Jesus. And so um, that's just kind of that's just kind of me. And that's where I stand. During the summer, Langford took to his Instagram page to spread words of wisdom that he learned through his own struggles. You know, a lot of people, you know, bring up the Bible and they beat the Bible across other people's heads to the point to where when somebody is talking about the Bible, it's hard for them to receive uh, the actual truth that's within the Word of God. <laughs> because truthfully, we in Christ and Christ is the Word. Yeah. So a lot of times we try to preach a sermon when we really should be living a sermon. Mm. Because truthfully, mm. <laughs> because Lord my God, I think it was a great opportunity to just kind of share my story. You know, a lot of times the challenges that you're going through is not necessarily, you know, about you, but it's the, about the people that's connected to you. That's one thing that we all have in common as people is that we face things that are hard. We face opposition. And so the biggest thing is how we how we deal with it. And you know, that's just kind of my message. Another message that Langford wants to send is that just because he's a religious man, that doesn't make him a weak competitor. When you meet a person of faith, they kind of get this rap that they're soft. You know, if you really study the life of Christ, you will see that, that, that Jesus didn't play. You know, he was serious about the things that, that he had to do. He was a competitor. My name, Joshua, um, I'm named after the man in the Bible, Joshua. He was a warrior. When it comes to the game of basketball, I'm in war. And so there's no need for me to be be the glasses wearing, Josh. You know, it's time for me to go out and get a bucket or go out and get a stop or get a win. 
because that's what I'm out there to do. As the Spartans prepare for another moment of adversity, being a play-in team in the NCAA tournament, Langford had another message for his teammates to rely on. Consider a pure joy when you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Anytime you have to persevere in life, you always become more, more mature. Perseverance leads to growth. So if you have the right perspective, perspective allows you to see an obstacle as an opportunity. You know, like, it was a point in my life where I never thought I'd be able to play the game of basketball again. So, you know, to be back um, here in this position and have this opportunity, uh, it's, 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 it's exciting, man. It's a blessing. Josh, congrats on a thousand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you can surely tell that there's plenty of excitement from Langford and the rest of the Spartans to start the NCAA tournament tonight. And one thing that I learned from Joshua Langford was that no matter what happens, the adversity in front of you is an opportunity for you to grow into the person you are meant to become. Odd.